Hello everyone, my name is Corbin Rose and in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer your Hartley philodendron cuttings to soil. Um, these, these cuttings I've had in here for quite some time and they've developed quite an extensive uh, uh, water root system and it can be tricky when you move cuttings from uh, water roots to soil and um, simply because the roots grown in soil are a lot more robust and they tend to be uh, to be hardier whereas roots grown in uh, water are a lot softer and they're also more, more um, fragile because they haven't actually had to go and search for moisture in the potting media it's just always been there and sometimes when these cuttings are transferred to soil they fail but if you allow the roots to dry out in that beginning stage it can be kind of tricky because what will happen is that they will simply wither away and die because they haven't really like you know grown into the media or once they've grown into the media you can let them dry out in between uh, watering because now they have the ability to actually search for water themselves. So the first thing I'm going to actually do is I've selected a small little container that will you know, fill the roots. I'm going to put these four, you know, four cuttings into the same pot to make a nice uh, small bushy plant. So I'm going to add in some of my growing media into the bottom of the pot. I'll put a link up on the screen as to how I made this media. It's a combination of perlite, um, home castings, orchid bark, I'm thinking also sphagnum moss if I remember correctly, and volcanic rock dust. Um, so th this media is actually quite dry, so I'll have to be sure to hit this when, I, um, when I'm finished so that the roots don't just uh, shrivel away. Now, and you can see here, my plant's roots are actually quite healthy. You know, they're actually quite nice and healthy, except perhaps this one over there. But yeah, where's my, I can't reach my scissors now. This root seems dead. So I'm just gonna see if I can pick that up. Yeah, you see this was a dead root. I'm gonna discard that. And I'll put these in here. I'm just gonna try and space the cuttings out a bit. Uh, because I want them to grow over, you know, in the entire, in all sections of the pot, basically. So I'm going to put them, yeah, like that. I don't know if you can see this makes sense what I'm doing, but they're, you know, they're not all together. They're kind of, you know, put in the, um, on the, on the edges of the pot. And now what I'll do is I'll fill in with my grey meter. And I'll just be sure to fill in all around my cuttings. Oh, that's the problem. Okay. There we go. I'm thinking these cuttings will need a stake. But let's just first see if I put in some more media and I... Uh, okay, wait. I've not put in a lot of media. Okay, I'm going to give them a nice drink so that they can settle. But now I must also just be sure to empty out any of the water that's coming through the, um, the pot. Let me just give some more. Okay, all my cuttings are in here now. They don't have actively growing roots, um, actively growing roots, they don't have actively growing growth points. So I'm thinking what they'll do is they'll shoot out growth points from these nodes. It will help um, to make them fuller. So you can see here, my cuttings are now all in the pot and they're all looking nice and stable. There's a little bit of water in the bottom of the pot, but I'm just going to leave that for a bit to see 
it that had uh, water get sucked up again because it has been um, media was actually quite uh, dry um, but now that the media is also nice and moist it seems that the cuttings are being nice you know and, subs and supported in the media and they're not you know f love holding around as much as they were in the uh, dry media so i'm going to place my plant now in a location where it gets a nice you know like medium light but not too much light because you don't want to put your plant in stress and hardly for the tensions you know are more medium light plants anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to see more videos like these